Good morning. Today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about college and career readiness and an opportunity we're going to offer you to better understand what that means and more importantly what it means to you. Let's start by talking about what we know. Turn to your partner and discuss what comes to mind when I say college and career ready. When you have three ideas or thoughts as a pair, raise your hands and we'll talk about it a little bit. What does college and career readiness mean to you? Good. We mentioned a few things that fall under the umbrella of what we call 21st century skills. Have any of you heard of this term before? These are skills that range from basic life skills like organization and financial literacy to skills practiced in math, English, science, and social studies like writing and problem solving, researching, analyzing data, and technology skills, as well as what we call soft skills, such as the ability to read, uh, the formality of a situation and respond appropriately in dress and in how we speak, uh, the ability to be interested and interesting when necessary. These are skills we will be practicing and perfecting over the next four years in the classroom, on the sports field, on stage, and in the hallways to ensure that when you graduate, you are college and career ready. One of the ways we measure your readiness is through the graduation portfolio, also known as the Chair Ho 10. In order to earn a Cheriho High School Diploma, you have to show proficiency in each of these 10 expectations through products and experiences created both inside and outside of the classroom. Expectation 1, problem solving. All students will acquire, analyze, and evaluate information and ideas to effectively solve problems. 2 is literacy. Students will articulate thoughts and ideas effectively using oral, written, and nonverbal communication skills in a variety of forms and contexts. Three is technology. All students will use technology as a tool to research, organize, evaluate, and communicate information and apply fundamental understanding of the ethical legal issues surrounding the access and use of information technologies. Expectation four, culture and the arts. All students will develop and exhibit an understanding of culture and the arts. Expectation five, self-directed learner. All students will be self-directed learners effectively using ideas and information from various disciplines. Expectation six, career awareness. All students will develop an understand of their own or an understanding of their own strengths and learning styles and apply knowledge in, in planning for their education and career. Expectation seven, global citizenship. All students will display global awareness through knowledge of other world regions, cultures, and global international issues and contribute to society as responsible and skilled citizens. Expectation eight, collaboration. All students will work actively and co cooperatively to achieve group goals. Expectation nine, personal well-being. All students will make appropriate choices affecting their physical, social, and mental well-being. And finally, expectation 10, respect for others. All students will treat others with dignity and respect. In order to earn a Cheriho High School diploma, you have to show proficiency in each of these 10 expectations through products and experiences created both inside and out the outside the classroom. This is evidence of your readiness. Historically, the graduation portfolio has been a destination. Students work each year to complete proficient papers and projects that are portfolio worthy. At the end of each year of high school, you need a certain number of portfolio submissions to qualify for promotion, for promotion to the next grade. In your senior year, you present all that you have learned through your portfolio submissions to a panel of judges to meet this requirement for graduation. Our goal in the summer study program we are introducing today is to transform the portfolio from a destination to a living resource, an asset that reveals your college and career readiness to any employers, schools, or organizations you are targeting. Let's start by looking at traditional summer study. At every level in your learning experience, it has involved summer reading, and that's important. 
but reading is but one of a number of skills that you need to practice and refine in your quest for college and career readiness. Typically, you've been assigned a book or books to read, and those books are the subject of a beginning of the year assignment in your English language arts class. Summer reading will still be a component of summer study, but it's your process and experience that we value. We want to heighten your awareness, your practice, and see the relationships between the expectations outlined in the Chair Hotel, the disciplines that you study in school, social studies, ELA, math, science, and the activities that define your summer experience. This conscious connection making is the foundation of your improved college and career readiness. Knowing your strengths and areas in need of growth will allow you to elaborate and celebrate your strengths and concentrate on improving in areas of growth. Let's look at expectation one and examine its evolution from expectation to summer activity. All students will acquire, analyze, and evaluate information and ideas to effectively solve problems. Products that meet this expectation in your schoolwork include research papers from English classes or social studies classes, math projects, or science labs. A specific acti summer activity that could support this expectation could include A summer reading experience. Outlined here is the banned book summer reading experience for Cheriho High School students this year. It includes a, a compilation of various activities, including the creation of videos, doing book reports, working collaboratively to uh, review or read a book with friends, and a whole list of what are identified as banned books. Take a look at the exemplar in the template. Within each tab of the template, you can document your experience, reflect on it, and upload photos, videos, or files in support. In this example, The student has created a summer book study group for the story One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, uploaded some photos, uh, one from the movie, one of the author, and written a reflection that talks about what they learned through the summer, the summer book study that they completed with their peers. Because this was a collaborative experience, it could fulfill Expectation 8 for collaboration in the Chair Hotel. A typical summer activity unrelated to school that supports and reinforces the expectation can be seen in this video. That's right, something as simple as following the directions outlined to the assembly of a product, like a grill, absolutely reinforces these analysis and problem solving skills. So I know you're probably thinking, why am I doing this again? Well, three reasons. The first is to make you aware of how related what you do during the summer supports building a toolbox of 21st century skills. Second, to take advantage of your summer and connect meaningfully to the expectations that define the Cheriho Diploma. 
And third, and perhaps most importantly, to begin building a digital profile. Think of it this way. If you're proposing that you have a 21st century skill set, that you are college and career ready, then you need easily accessible, technologically based, continuously updated evidence to provide those that say, show me, I don't believe you. This profile is inspired by a Burlington High School student who created a blog that showcases her strengths. Essentially, she has created a digital profile that serves as a powerful introduction to her strengths and self-direction. This blog is not a graduation requirement for her, nor is it the product of work in a specific course. What it is, is powerful. Here at Cherho High School, we want to provide you a template and the opportunities to create this tool to support your candidacy for membership, admission, and employment. We have two resources to support your summer study, a simple resource and a base for documenting the connections that you make. The simple source is an app called Goose Chase. We have set up a scavenger hunt on this phone application that challenges you to take a picture and document through a 140 character tweet that relates a summer activity to each of the chair hotel. This challenge is a fun way to document your activities relative to our expectations and will serve as a class competition going into the school year. The base for documenting your connections is a Google site you can access and make your own. It's a template for how you could house your documentation and reflection on your experience. We want you to make it your own. Here you can begin to compile multimedia evidence that supports your 21st century skill proficiency and your college and career readiness. So what are we asking you to do? Each expectation folder is an assignment you can complete. The template includes summer study activities from departments and examples of how you could fulfill the assignment uh, in each expectation tab. Make a connection between each of the expectations and your summer experience, either working independently or collaboratively with a friend or group of friends. Then consider how you could present this information to a class, an employer, an admissions officer, or any organization to whom you wanted to introduce yourself. On the first days of school, we will dedicate advisory time to introducing ourselves to each other through your summer study experience. What could it look like? Well, it could look like this. Including your own pictures and explanations, you can do sort of a collage of all the experiences that you had and how they relate specifically to the expectations in the chair hotel. Or, it could look like this. What do you want to do with your life? Find a way to make myself appealing to a college slash career by doing exactly what I love. Notice how in this example, the author has taken a passion, something they care about, skateboarding, and looked at it in relationship to all of the 10 expectations and come up with evidence that supports that what he's passionate about also applies to each of these expectations that define college and career readiness. 